Okay, we'll get this thing rolling. All right. Rody Sabalas here with us today on the Alumni Spotlight. Fired up to uh, track him down. He's wearing some ONU gear up in... Oh, always. Yeah, sporting the Bears up in Minneapolis. Uh, Rody uh, graduated from uh, Brexville uh, High School. He's uh, the Bees, right? Brexville, yep. Broadview, Broadview, Brexville Heights Bees. Yeah. Uh, came in in 2012. Started in the middle of his, kind of early in his freshman year, uh, which, you know, was, you know, getting thrown to the fire as an offensive lineman in the OAC starting. And then I think your sophomore year, you had a little bit of an injury. You played really good football as a sophomore. I think it's when you hurt your arm before John Carroll or something or your hand. Yeah, I broke my arm in practice. Yeah. Yep, probably, probably week maybe six or somewhere in there and, you know, somewhere late in the year. Just enough that we couldn't get another red shirt out of you, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. But um, then it was all conference as a junior and senior, and senior was a great season for us. Junior year was a really good season as well. But first team all, all conference, all region, just had an outstanding career. It was a, a great scholar as well. And, and uh, you know, why don't you just, you know, environmental biology major. Um, I'm sure Coach Russell had a lot in common to kind of share with you about environmental biology as a sport oh, definitely. major. But uh, why don't you tell everybody kind of what you're up to these days, Rody? Yeah, so uh, back in November, I finished up my master's degree in biology at Ball State University. Um, and yesterday, I just found out the news that uh, the article that I wrote from my uh, master's degree is getting published um, in a journal. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm up in Minneapolis. Um, I'm currently working uh, for an environmental consulting firm. And then in the fall of 2021, my girlfriend and I are both looking to start PhD programs. Uh, we're not sure yet where, but um, excited Let the recruiting to kind of begin, continue right? on that. Exactly. You know Let what? The I can never get over. enough of the recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let that start all over. Let them come after you. Uh, bright, very bright guy. Uh, if I was writing any kind of recommendations, I'd say, You'll be an outstanding college professor someday. So <laughs> thank you. I don't think anybody's going to listen to a football coach, but uh, hey, I remember, take everything I can get. Oh yeah, I, I remember. I think it was going into your senior year when you did that internship up in uh, Boston uh, as a future college professor, doing some research and things like that. It was a great summer opportunity, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. I got to do some really cool research with uh, UMass Boston and uh, the New England Aquarium and. It was a fantastic summer. Uh, had a really great time, and uh, actually got to present some of that to the uh, the uh, board for ONU, and that was really. That's awesome. right. I remember that we were real. We were yeah. bragging about you, man. We were real. <laughs> There's like yeah. just maybe one or two pr uh, students are presenting to the board of trustees, and here's here's one of our off and coming back talking about his uh, summer opportunity. It's probably the kind of thing you went and tried to tell Coach Russell, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, I don't." Know. <laughs> 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 you gotta, you gotta bust his chops in there every now and then. Oh, yeah. I think the, the journal is a huge deal. I mean, I think most people know that as a as a graduate student and then pursuing the doctoral opportunity. That's kind of like the kind of like something you put on that resume for the PhD program. That it's like being all state or something like that. Like that's a huge deal. So uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, congratulations on that. Thank you. So let's talk about recruiting, man. Back in the day, I remember. Uh, you know, um, you, you had great high school grades, uh, tremendous student in high school, and we loved your video. And why don't you go back and kind of turn the clock back a little bit and just see what you reflect, what you remember about the recruiting process? Yeah, it's actually funny. So with ONU, uh, our junior year at my high school, you're allowed to have a junior college visit day. So you get the day off of school. And I had been looking into pharmacy originally, and so I knew ONU was good for pharmacy, and I ended up not doing it. But... Um, I was going down there and I played high school football with Adam Best right. and yeah. he goes, Hey, I'm playing at ONU next year. You need to go talk to the coach for a play. And I was like, all right, sounds good. So I had a semi impromptu visit with Russell and he showed me around and I just fell in love with ONU. Yeah. Like it just, the second I, I stepped onto campus, it felt like home. And then uh, I got my video out there and came back for some more visits and uh yeah. it's, it's on my overnight visit <laughs> I, I had like a little bit of a movie moment of I finished the whole visit get out to my cart the king horn and i called my mom and i was like hey sign the check i'm going to ONU. and you i can't go anywhere else so awesome. you know it's just it's a place that felt like that's home. very I just, cool i love that i love hearing that 
So let's yeah. see. Well, Adam was one year old. Oh, no, two years. Yeah. One, no, one, one year older than me. Yeah, and uh, Adam and his parents, great, great family. I think they knew, they knew your parents a little bit. And it didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't hurt that there was a, a guy having a good experience one year ahead of you from, uh, from Brexville. So <laughs> that's very, definitely very, helpful. Very thankful that Adam helped uh, kind of open the door. So that's awesome. Let's, oh, yeah. talk, let's talk a little more about some, you know, some memories, uh, you know, as a, as a player. I, I got to give a shout out to your, your family, you know, your dad, um, you know, as, a, as a pastry chef, owning his own bakery in Cleveland, our post-game meals are snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Those were unbelievable. The four years you're in the program, some of the things, I mean, it was like a, it, it just everybody was heading over to that box where those cookies were and cupcakes, some ridiculous cupcakes. So, uh, it was so good. So we definitely, we miss you. We also miss your, your family. <laughs> hey, no, I get it. I get it. The desserts are might be better than I was as a football player. So <laughs> <laughs> that was phenomenal. So, anyways, yeah, talk about some memories as a player. I mean, you you came in that freshman year. We had, uh, you know, we we had some injuries early. We struggled a little bit. We kind of got back on track uh, late, later in that later in that year. And then your junior senior years, we kind of started picking up steam. And that ju senior year, getting to the playoffs and you know, mm -hmm. the playoff game. It was is is a was a lot of fun. But why don't you talk about some of those memories? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, you know, obviously the junior and senior years were the absolutely incredible years, and those are probably where most of my memories come from. Um, I mean, how can you be a couple of those plays from the John Carroll game? The the magazine, yeah. <laughs> that screen pass. I watched the film on it. Still one of the funniest things I've ever seen because he just barely makes yeah. it across little, that goal. <laughs> little stubby leg. How about your boy, Bo? How about your boy uh, Logan Shell was hustling down the field there and diving at people's – He got out there. Yeah, the I didn't man. realize until you guys posted those uh, those game reviews um, a few weeks ago, and I didn't realize how essential Logan was in getting that play going because yeah. I was on the backside, so I'm kind of watching the whole time. But that, that play's hilarious. I love that play. What a spark, right? Yeah. And then, obviously, the McCray touchdown. Like, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. a – it's just yeah. some of the best memories of my life. And then I don't know if it counts as, as, as on the field, but the, the, when we found out that we made the playoffs, yeah, just was... every, every year someone posts that video and I sit there and watch it for like a half hour. Yeah, <laughs> just over think, and over. Honestly, I, I think I'm going to post it again soon because I love Do it. I love watching everybody's reaction. And uh, it's pretty special. And it's one of those things, a lot of people talk about that or want to, other programs they want to achieve that they're hoping mm -hmm. this they're wishing that and you guys did it and, and this program did it and that was uh that was very uh memorable it's we're, we're probably due this time of year with uh no sports that'd be a good time to post it sometime soon because it was a blast hey post it that thing's gonna get likes if you do so <laughs> it's just fun whether it gets likes or not it's great i just i, I just enjoy watching it i'm I, I, Me too. But you guys do as well so um you know i think about you as a player as you, you know, you were obviously all region as a senior and well-deserved and, you know, you're, you're, hate to, you know, I know you and I talked about this, but, you know, one vote away from being the lineman of the year in the, <laughs> in the Ohio Athletic Conference, um, you know, but, you know, you were a technician, uh, you played hard, uh, you played smart, uh, you know, you, you had good mobility, you had good strength, you know, just as, but you weren't the biggest guy, you know, there's the thing, <laughs> but, but you're a hell of a football player and just a, a fun guy to be around, be around as well. So uh, appreciate it. You know, all your teammates, you know, feel that way too. And coach also, even if he doesn't want to admit it, he, he feels that way. Feels that way as well. Oh, I know he misses me. <laughs> yeah, he, he does. There's no doubt. Anything, you know, anything else like off the field or maybe a favorite class or a favorite professor or any, I don't know, just anything memorable along those lines. Um, I have to give a shout out to the environmental and field biology uh, department here at ONU. It, completely shaped what I'm doing the rest of my life. Um, Dr. Verb and Dr. Riley from the bio department. Yeah. They are, I'm still in contact with them. I still talk to Dr. Verb all the time and I'm actually working on writing another paper to publish through ONU um, awesome. with Dr. Awesome. Verb. So, you know, it's some of the off field connections that I made yeah. are just lifelong, lifelong kind of deals. Um, so yeah, as far as academics, that goes that, you know, I owe my entire career and life to, to those people. And then obviously off the field, uh, the, the boys, 
all my friends, you know, it's lifelong. And it's sometimes you get, you get tainted because I moved up to Minneapolis and you're like, I've got such good friends and it's hard to make people right. make friends that you're that close to, but you know, yeah. all we're going to a bunch of weddings. We're yeah. hanging out, you know, just yeah. all the times with them, all the times that we have made since we graduated yeah. and are going to continue to. So. Well, it's one of those things you, you're not able to connect probably as often as you want to, but when you do, it's not, right it's, it's definitely <laughs> memorable and uh oh i was thinking too when you're talking about like dr verb and, and the biology i remember uh, many uh trips where you took over the field station over there in eastern ohio <laughs> and, uh, especially i think that that last term after you had done, we were done playing that fall i think if i remember correctly you were taking even maybe more trips during that time obviously because you didn't have football but uh, yeah yeah so with we have so with that program um there's a field-based semester where you're like never on campus and right. obviously couldn't do that with football. So even though I had grades and the, the credits to graduate, um, I stayed behind for one extra yeah. semester to just get all the extra experience in those, yeah. those classes. In, so. And I got to be around the, the team a little bit too. So yeah. that was awesome. Well, we, we enjoyed that keeping you on campus for a little bit, a little bit extra time. So, yeah, well, we're, you know, I'm so excited to uh, watch you, you know, kind of continue to uh, have success and, with your career, and I know you're gonna do. You know, you're, you're you'll be highly sought after for this PhD program here next Thank you. a little over a year from now, and can't wait to see where you end up. And uh, you know, miss you, love love you, your family, and uh, just looking forward to you know maybe the next time you're back down this way. I know it's obviously difficult to do that, but we just appreciate everything you've done, Rody, and your family, and wish you nothing but the best. Okay, pal. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys too so much. You know, ONU is, is one of my homes and I can't wait till the next time I get to go back. Absolutely. Come see all you guys. So sounds good, buddy. I'm gonna shut it down right